Hello and welcome to Graphic Intention. Today I thought I would go over um, how I prepped the new DMC chart um, book. This is from Diamond Painting 911. Uh, this is the second edition, so it's got a couple of uh, new charts that the first edition did not have. Right now this is on Amazon for, I think I paid 14 bucks. Um, and I didn't pay shipping or anything like that because I do have Amazon Prime. Um, so I had originally gotten the first edition and um, I attached the drills to the, um, the book itself. And as I progressed, I found that I had put the wrong drills with the wrong colors. So I had to pop them off. And because this is paper, it was, you know, tearing the paper. So I decided that with this one, I would do a little prep work before um, I did any drill attachments so that if I have to pop the drills off, it won't ruin the book. Originally, I had thought to um, laminate the pages, but that would change the color of the um page. So instead, what I thought I would do is um, put a double-sided sticky tape on here. Um, but then that becomes problematic because if you, if you um, take the drill off of the double-sided sticky, it has a chance of lifting the sticky and then, you know, how would you cover it back up so until you got the drill that did go there. That just seemed like way too much um, issue as well. So what I came up with is transparent tape. Um, I got a six pack of this actual clear tape at the dollar store. Um, so it's not that expensive of a fix. And you can tape it so that it's, instead of over the color, you can tape it to where the edge is over the name because that doesn't really matter. Um, and so what I do is I just get a length of tape that is long enough for um, the page top to bottom. And then I make sure that I don't cover any of the actual color itself. And I just lay this tape down. It's basically laminated. So if you put the drill down and then you have to pop it off, it has protected this paper. So um, you can't even tell that the tape is there because it is clear. So it's not going to change your book at all. Um, the only thing that I would say is because once you lay the tape down, you probably don't want to lift it back up again. So you want to make sure that you get the entire um, field where you're going to be attaching your drills. Um, so I'm not going to do a review of this book because there are lots of people out there that have already done reviews. Um, if you want to check any of those out, just put in a DMC color chart book into your little search bar and it'll pop up all of the videos that are already out there, um, reviewing the book itself. So I don't want to beat a dead horse. Um, other than to say I will probably be using the Van Gogh. Uh, simply because it actually puts more the colors grouped together rather than um, so separated because a lot of these colors are very very similar and until you get them next to each other you can't tell that it's one shade difference uh, which is why I messed up on the first book is I had the drills placed in the one shade different um, number. Okay, what I'm using is the original tacky glue. Um, this is Aileen's. This is not the tack and retack. Uh, where you can pick up and um, replace this, which is, I think, what people use to fix their canvases. I thought that's what I was getting, but this does not work that way. This dries, and once it's dry, it is done. So we'll put that right there. I have a pair of tweezers. These are not reverse grip tweezers. So what I've done is I've put a um, paper clip binder thing on them so that when this is squeezed it squeezes the 
tweezers. So when I pick up a diamond, I open it, I pick it up, I let go, and then I can do whatever I want. And when I'm ready to place it, I open it back up again. Um, this comes in very handy if you're having to hold it for a long time, because then you don't have to hold it the whole time you're, or squeeze it the whole time you're searching for the color that you're looking for. So anyway, um, I've done that. These are some of the random colors that I have pulled out of my sort box, which is here. Um, these are all of the colors that have come in kits that did not have the DMC colors um, along with them and that I have not sorted yet already. So I'm going to just pick one. We're going to go with this pretty green one. Um, and what I do is I pop one or two of them out of the bag. Um, and because I don't pick up very well off of the table, I just put it in my hand and pick it up that way. So now, all I have to do is run it through what colors I think it's going to be, and if I find one that I think it matches, I will put one of its brothers on that color, and then I will put however many are possible matches on there, and then through process of elimination, um, remove the ones that I no longer think match very well. So I'm going to go through this and see if we can find what color I think this is. So it's not any of these because these have too much brown in them. And I don't think it's any of these because they have too much blue in them. So it's going to be somewhere um, in this area, I believe. I don't think it's going to be any of these. But let me take a quick look. No, definitely too much green, not enough blue. So let's go up here. Um, it could possibly be uh, 922. So let me stick a 922 on here. And it helps if you have it to where it is the round face up. All right. It might also be a 943. Or, and I guess it could be either one of those. Get over here. And it could be that one. All right, so I put these down on here. Let me bring you down and show you what this looks like. And then once they are on the, um, the book itself, I can go through and say, I don't think it's this one because that one is too, the color is too light. So I take that one off. Um, I don't think it's this one because again, the colors don't really match. So I take that one off. Um, this one is again too light. So that brings it down to between 38, 12, and 9, 43. So I will look at these at different angles and um, see if at any point the color disappears. Um, so I look at it at that angle, that angle. So I think it is 9.43. So once I have the color that I believe it is, I take my um, tweezers and I just dip it in this little tacky glue so that I have some glue on the end. I put that right on the tape that I've pre-applied clean this off, then I pick up one of my drills 
and place it right on that glue. Okay. And that is how I go through um, sorting all of my drills. I will then write 943 on the bag so that when I go to put it in my um, inventory I know which bag to add that to. This also comes off with just a little bit of alcohol so I can reuse these bags over and over and over again. These are just bags that come with um, some of the diamond painting kits I've gotten so I did not pay anything for these bags, but I am all about reusing or recycling. Um, so what I'm going to do is I will wait for this to dry and I will come back and show you what happens if you put this drill in the wrong spot. This has dried, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what happens or how I um, pop this off and put it on the color that I think it really is. Um, so I have this on 943, but I'm going to move it up to 3812 because um, I think it fits better there. So what I do is I just pop this off and it comes off really easily, um, but it doesn't come off so easily that just by touching it, it um, comes off. So now I have this new shiny drill. It does have some glue on it, so I'm just going to take a second and um, get that glue off. So the same thing that I did earlier, I am just going to um, get a little bit of the glue on the end of my um, tweezers. And then I'm putting this on 90, uh, 38, 12. So I just put my little dot there. And then I put the drill in the new spot. Oops. and just mash it into place. Okay, so um, that has now been moved and you can see it did not do any damage at all to the book because it's really got that layer of tape on there. Um, so I can pull off and, and replace these um, drills as often as I want to or need to without damaging the page of this book. Um, so, but now I have the wrong number on my, uh, they're just little pads that have alcohol already on them. I got these for free, um, for giving blood. So, um, I have several of these. Once these run out, I will just use alcohol and a Q-tip or something. Um, but real easy, you just clean the bag and then I put this at 3812 so I'm going to write 3812 on my bag and that is the new number and so now I have the book with the drill in the correct place and no damage at all to the 943 spot um, so that is just a little uh, demonstration on how <clears throat> this is really going to save your book. Okay, so now I'm really going to um, close out the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for putting up with my um, eccentricity. And um, hopefully the next video will be a little more um, fluid. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great day. Bye.